Well, now we're going to uh, look at the pit, take a little more detailed look at the soil profile and the different horizons that make up the soil profile. Uh, this particular profile, we can see that one of the main differences that makes for soil horizons are the different colors of the soil. They show up reasonably well. And so in this particular soil, we have a dark colored surface horizon uh, that goes down to about that depth. Uh, this particular horizon, in this case, we would call an A horizon. It's the uppermost mineral horizon, so that's pretty well always called the A horizon. Because it has organic matter in it, uh, we might, it is, in a sense, an AH horizon, but I've already mentioned that it has a very sharp lower boundary, and we call AH horizons that have been plowed or cultivated, we call them AP horizons. So the upper horizon is an AP. And then we see a brown layer that extends from about this depth, gradually getting, uh, uh, becoming a little more yellow, I guess you might say grayish yellow with depth, and I think down to about uh, approximately 30 centimeters depth, the strongest expression of the of the reddish brown the color occurs. And this is a B horizon. Because it is a B horizon that has a strong expression of a different color and to some degree structure, but no other uh, special feature such as an accumulation of clay or, or, or glaying or any other feature, uh, we use the term for this, it's a BM horizon. I think the M sort of stands for modified or something like that. It's, 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 it's a horizon that's been changed, but doesn't have a lot of special, uh, you know, other features. And then in this soil, it's, it's kind of interesting because quite often right under the B horizon, we have a horizon that we call a CCA, where there's been a gain in carbonate. But in this particular soil, there's, an, there's a depth from about, um, of about 10 centimeters, which is sort of transitional between the reddish B and, and, the, and the parent material below. And this is one of the, uh, one of the uh, conventions we use is for a transitional horizon like that, is simply to use the two uh, master horizons and, and call it a BC. It's basically transitional from the B to the C horizon. And if we use the, the dilute hydrochloric acid on this particular horizon, or a particular profile, we'll see that in the upper part, the HCl doesn't effervesce, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't fizz. In this reddish B horizon, it doesn't fizz again. Although down in here, we do start to get some car carbonate pebbles, pebbles that will fizz. But even in this transitional horizon, the degree of effervescence, is, it's very slight. And then actually, when we get to the, to the CCA horizon, which is characterized by having a gain in calcium carbonate, or a lot of calcium carbonate in the soil, we're expecting the soil to really fizz. And so when we spray the acid on, this particular horizon, it, it really fizzes. That means that there's a high concentration of calcium carbonate in that particular horizon. And if we do a, a dry color on this particular soil, the, the color comes out to be, uh, and that's not quite dry, but it does come out to be 10YR almost 4 over 2. And if we look at the soil classification book, that is the reason that we're going to call eventually this a dark brown chernozem soil. It's because more than anything of the color of this particular AHRI, AP horizon being 10YR 4 over 2.